The Great Search brought to you by DigiKey Native Fruit. Every single week, Lady Ada is a producer power of engineering. Help you guys you find everything you need to find on digikey.com. Lady Ada, what is the Great Search this week? Okay, so this is a. Uh, let me find one second. Terry. Uh, Blockchain. Okay, so we had a question. Okay, this is a great example. Um, we had example. Uh, uh, sorry, let's go to the computer. Sorry. Um, we had someone uh, write in on, I think, the comments to this video, and they said, hey, um, I want to get a panel mount button that's, like, lit up that has latching action, where you push it once to turn it on and push it once to turn it off. And you can see here, like, the, um, the button gets indented. It latches in, and we call this, like, a latching button. Um, as compared to a momentary button, which is like a tactile switch where you press it, and then when you release it, it opens up. And they were like, it's really tough for me to figure out how to find. I just want to find a panel mount on-off switch like this with a with a press button and maybe uh, you know some sort of light in the background um, to let me know when it's on or off. Can you help me learn how to search it? And I was like, that's a great idea. So we do take user requests. Um, so let's show how to go to DigiKey and find a panel mount switch and uh, one that has latching on off control. All right, so we're at DigiKey. So let's look for, let's just start with um, panel mount switch. So we don't have to uh, search panel mount first, but um, I figure it's a good, it's, it'll give me a good start to what I'm looking for. So there's key lock switches. These are like ones that have locks and there's toggle switches. You know, toggle switches, or you can use them as on-off switches, and people do. You know, up is on, off is down, like light switches. Um, rocker switches are also always going to latch, right? Because you have to mechanically move them up or down. But this person particularly wanted a push-button switch. So push-button switches are going to include both uh, momentary and latching. And those are the two kinds. Okay, so first up, let's, um, of course, only look at active. I mean, there's a lot of products and let's just because there's so many let's also only look at in stock and non-marketplace just to because there's 176,000. so let's pare it down to, to some reasonable number okay so these are some push buttons so like, you already see like there's some pretty nice options here um square red you know uh pcb mount lots of panel mounts um so for sure there's going to be something here so the first thing that they wanted was, um, again, that switch function. They don't want it to be like press um, and then release, which is called momentary. Like it's only on when you press it. They want it to hold whatever they press it. And so that's under switch function. And there's, this is very confusing because there's a lot. There's like off momentary and there's off momentary momentary and there's off momentary on and there's off on, off on 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 momentary, on momentary, off momentary, on off, like there's all these different types. Basically, um, momentary, when it says mom, momentary, that means whatever is the opposite, like if it's off momentary, it means it's normally off. And when you press it momentarily, it turns on. So let's just show you that even though it's not what this person wanted, this is kind of what most people think of when they think of them as a switch. So these, these are push buttons and they don't latch. When you press them, the two contacts connect. And when you release, the, they disconnect again. So off momentary. And sometimes it's also called SPST NO, normally open. So single pulse, single throw. So there's only two contacts. They either touch or they don't. And normally open. And when you press, they connect. Okay, but that's not what they wanted. So let's, let's turn off that uh, switch function. Um, and go back. So what we want is non-momentary. We want it to be when you press, it changes. And so we want it to go from off to on. Now you might be wondering, well, what's off, on, on? That means that there might be multiple modes or might be like multiple switch connects. This person just wanted on, off, um, not off, on, and then a different mode. So also there's like, why is there off, on, on, off? Well, you know, maybe it's like, it's indented when it's on or it's indented when it's off, but let's assume that either one of them is okay. So these are the two options. On-on would mean that there's two switch 
contact, so SPDT, so it'll go between two different throws, um, which is also maybe what they want. But again, we're going to go with the simplest dig, just on, off, off, on. Okay, so now they've gotten rid of the, the momentary contact stuff. Um, some of these look familiar, like Adafruit stocks, you know, stuff similar to this. This is a kind of nice little gothy switch. It's got an LED illumination ring. That's very nice. This one doesn't. Uh, this is a latching push switch from Jedco. I love Jedco switches. Those are really great. Uh, square ones as well. We wanted one that had uh, an illumination. It had an LED. Um, so incandescent is used often, like it's like neon for high voltages, like 120 volts. And you'll see it often like power... Um, uh distribution strips you know you'll have the switch has like a flickering red orange light that's like an incandescent or neon 120 volt we want something that's led so we're just going to select led not incandescent uh, but let's say any color is fine you can always be picky later if you want red green or blue um actuator marking don't really care about this but you know if you want a power switch labeling on it that can you know that's a common request um let's say we want uh rounded and let's see a couple options and there's the voltage rating uh this person didn't write up and say what voltage rating they want but of course if you want it to run 120 volt or 220 volt power switch you would select it um but let's look here okay some nice options so then um let's look by pricing just let's see like let's get because they were like oh i want an inexpensive switch um ooh, so a couple of nice options here let's handle switch and then yeah these are all going to be a couple amperes um let's see led red looks good this one is kind of nice this one this is, these are kind of these are kinda cute looking this one looks good too. Um, fairly inexpensive. These switches. This one has you know the illumination within. Um, I will say like you know I, I'm not gonna I'm I'm gonna pick one, but to be fair, all these are very good. Um, like this one might be um, a really good option if they want a metal button. But I did kind of like the look of um, these e switch buttons. They can do three amps at 125 volts. They have a really easy, they have like a nice black plastic, like, you know, rectangular um, cover. And then you have a lot of space here to drill a hole for them. Um, on the bottom, you can barely see it, but there's a plus and minus for the LEDs and then, you know, the power switch itself. Available in red, yellow, and green. Um, this is the diagram, and then this is the data sheet. And you know, e-switch is like super reliable. Um, these are gonna last um many, many, many cycles and be able to handle very high current and uh have good documentation for all of them. And then of course, if you need uh slightly different specifications, you can check those out. But this was my um my pick for the great search. I think this is a good option. So there you go. Um dear fellow email writer um lots of switches available uh pick this one but there's also many more available for under 10 bucks that's a great search Where is